Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through discounts in Retail Man. There are eight types of discounts that I'll be showing you. So there are a lot of options for you to create and choose. The first one is a discount on the fly. The second is the line items column discount that can be either a percentage or an amount in the POS or invoice screen. The third option is adding discounts on the client card. The fourth is to use service codes such as the minus or plus 5% discounts or surcharges. These are service items we can add to the stockpile. The fifth discount is a stock quantity discount which is done in the stockpile per item. The sixth discount is to sell a few or an amount of items at once at a discounted amount. The seventh is group discounts where you can have multiple items under the group to have discounts. You can apply dates and times for the discounts to start and end. The eighth and final one is specials in the stock card where you can set them for a period of time. So for the first discount on the fly, which is very easy, we need to go back to POS and then input an item. We go to the item amount and simply change the amount from $3.99 to $3, which will change the total price. This feature can be activated or deactivated per staff member. If it is left enabled for all staff, it can be a security risk. The second option is to use the line items column discount, which can be enabled or disabled from the staff file. To do that, we can go to maintenance, user settings, choose a user. We go to settings, POS tab, click the drop down box for discounts. You can choose disable, skip, enable or hide. Skip will have the column in there to see the discount, but the highlight will not stop at that field. If you click enable, it will always stop at that field. So we'll just skip for now. We'll go save. As you can see, the discount column is here. This discount can be either percentage or an amount. If we put 5%, then it will apply to the total. The other way is choosing the item discount as a value instead of a percentage, which means from the total amount, an exact amount can be deducted. To do the amount discount, we have to go to maintenance, system setup, the sales tab, and we choose enable discount column. We untick the percent. So now the discount is a dollar value amount. If we go back into the POS, the discount you can see now is in the dollar amount. The good thing about this is that this field can be both dollar and percentage now that this is set up to value and not percent from the setting. To do that, we're going to go to the discount column. We type five, put the percentage character in. And now the discount has been set to 5% for the total. And of course, you can enter the dollar amount in here and it will deduct the exact amount in here. So for example, 99 cents, there you have it. And 10%, again, 10% has been discounted. If we want to give a discount for the entire screen that someone has purchased, you can either change each one individually or click on the discount dollar column header where you see the arrow appear and a window will appear. If we want to give it a 5% discount, we just press five and then okay. It will apply to the discount to all of the items in the POS. The third option is to add discounts to individual clients. On the client card, you'll need to change the discount back to percent discount in the settings that we looked at earlier for this to apply for the client. We click on the client's list button, choose a client and click modify to open the client card. And here, where you can see discount percent, you can enter a percent number. For this client, we'll give them a 3% discount on all of their purchases. We'll click save. We'll bring up the client in the POS screen 
And now every time the client purchases, they will have a small discount. Notice that by adding items, the percent discount is applied to the total cost of each item. If it is set up as a value and not a percentage discount, it will deduct $3, not percent. So work out which one you'd like to do for your clients. The fourth type of discount is a service item discount or surcharge. If we enter two or three items, and we want to give a 5% discount on all of these, we need to create a discount item. We can create this by going into the stock card. Here I'm going to search the discount since it's already been created. Here you can see it's a service item and we've given it a stock group of discounts. Notice here that the part number must be negative 5%. You can have any number in there that you choose. Note that you need to keep all of the prices in these fields to zero. If there is tax, you can add the tax component to the service item. If we want to add a surcharge of 2%, we'll go new. In part number, type in 2%. In the description, we'll put 2% credit card surcharge. Here, we need to make it a service item and set it under the surcharges group. Again, we keep all the prices to zero and we add the tax component. Once we've done all that, we can go to save. First, let us give the client a 5% discount. If we enter the discount either by the button or enter in the part number, it will apply a 5% discount to all of those above items. If we click the 5% button, notice that the amount is negative 55 cents. If we want to have a surcharge, we can't use both surcharge and discount. We can only use one of them. So we'll need to delete this line. To add the surcharge into the payment, we can either type in 2% into part number, or we can click the button that has been made to apply the surcharge. And as you can see, the added amount is 22 cents. We can go and save that. The fifth discount is the stock quantity discount. We can set up any item to sell at different prices per quantity. So if we go to the stock file and choose the large coffee, we'll go modify. Here in this section, you can see the retail, trade, wholesale, and so on. You can choose to add deducted prices depending on the quantity that is bought. So here between one and four, it will be sold at $3.99. Between five and 19, it will be sold at $2.49. And anything above 20 will be sold at $1.99 each. To apply this, we'll have to enable the user to sell with the quantity discount. So we need to go to maintenance, user settings, choose a user and select settings, POS tab, and here you can see allow quantity discount. You can set this to allow a user to either enable or disable them in giving discounts at certain quantities. We're going to apply this for the large coffee. Here you can see it's $3.99 for one coffee. If we sell four, it will still be the same price. If we sell five, it will drop down to $2.49. If we sell 21, prices again drop to $1.99, which is the wholesale price. The sixth discount type is the bundle discount, which means we'll need to create bundles within the stockpile. So we go to the stock card and choose a small coffee, modify, and here we can set the bundle price. Let's say $12 for the quantity of five, so if we reach the quantity level of 5, the system will change the total price of the item to $12. If we choose to buy 6 with the quantity for the special still set to 5, it will set the 5 as $12 and the extra one to the regular retail price of $2.99.
So the client will need to buy a multiple of five. Anything in between will add the retail price to the total. So if you buy a five, 10, 15, etc., it will be adding $12 per five and anything in between will be the retail price added on. So we're going to try this one and see how it works. So if we go small coffee, one is at $2.99. If we sell five, changes to $12. If we sell six, it will change to $12 plus $2.99, which is the five bundle deal plus $2.99 retail price. If we change to seven, then it will do the first five $12 and the other two at retail price. So you can keep going until you hit 10. Once you hit 10, it will change it back to the bundle deal times two, which is $24. The seventh discount is a group special. So what we can do here is create special groups that have discounts in them. To do this, we need to go to stock, stock group maintenance, and choose stock specials, assuming you've created this group. You can have as many specials as you like, summer specials, weekly specials, yearly specials, whatever you'd like. So let's choose the summer special and click modify. Here you can see there is a start date and start time and an end date and end time and the quantity that we want to sell for that special. So if we sell the special at three, all the items will then be sold at the price of $2 each, so the total will be $6. So we can include any item into that special. To do that, we need to go to the stock file and choose the large coffee and modify. Add that into summer special under the special field. Save. And we can do the small coffee and also add it to the summer special. So if we go into POS, let's see we put in two large coffees. You can see it's $7.98 for the total and $3.99 each. So once we change it to three, it will change the prices from $3.99 each to $2 each. Even if we add a small coffee, it changes it to $2 each and six dollars total because all of the included items are in that special. So this is one way of discounting a number of items under that same special as a bundle. Note that the items can't be in more than one special at a time. Also something to remember is that you can apply these specials through certain times and dates. So you can have a monthly or weekly special etc or from a number of hours say 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. So here you can see that any time during the month of January, the special will happen from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you want it to be active only for the months, you need to change the time to 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. The good thing about this system is that it becomes an automated option, so you don't need to worry about changing it each day. This special can also contain just one item or thousands of items. The eighth and final discount is for specials on a certain period. This can be done from the stock card. This option is done from within the item itself. Let's say we do item 0011. If we look at the field under on special, this item is selling for $2.25. So we can sell it for two dollars there is a time to time and date to date like the bundle special this can be done for months or dailies or certain periods of time in the day note that it is also done with a 24 hour clock if we go 12 a.m on 0000 this is midnight and 2359 this is from 12 a.m to 11:59 p.m which is throughout the whole of January. Item 0011 will be on special for this period regardless of who buys it. Notice also that we have a minimum setting price. If we don't want certain staff members to sell below a certain price, you can set a number here. 
So for example, let's set this to $1.95. When a staff member tries to sell this item for less than $1.95, the system will reject it. We're going to save. We are going to enter the part number 0011. Notice that it came to $2. If we try to sell it for $1.50, you receive the warning sign. When you click OK, the price will be set to the minimum price instead. If we change the time back to 16.00, which is 4pm, so for me that is outside of the specials time, which means it will go back to the normal price. This way the system is no longer forcing the item to sell for the special price of $2 until 12am to 4pm. If we save and enter the item in again, you'll notice the price is back to the retail price. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.